Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today is going to be a bit of a speculative and informative video and we're going to attempt to make an educated guess on when UXP is coming to After Effects. If you don't already know, UXP is what is going to now be replacing CEP extensions and scripting to a certain degree as well. We already have it for things like Photoshop, InDesign, and now Premiere. And of course, if you haven't already seen my updated video on how to get started doing UXP for Premiere, check that out right here. But of course, After Effects is one of the biggest Adobe markets in terms of making extensions and scripts and that sort of thing. So knowing when it's gonna come out for after Effects is really important, especially for developers who want to get ahead of the curve, update their existing tools to work for UXP, as well as learn how to actually make UXP tools. So today I'm going to go over everything I've heard, all of my speculations, and when we might be able to expect to see UXP come out for After Effects. Real quick before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, check out the links. You can follow me on GitHub, social media. You can also check out my AE Scripts page where you can support me by purchasing products like my new Quick Link Items plugin for After Effects, which quickly and efficiently replaces any missing items in your After Effects project. So let's dive into it. First, what can we infer based on the information that's already out there? As of this recording, today is January 13th. The video is obviously coming out later, but as of January of 2025, we currently don't have support for UXP and After Effects. I haven't seen any discussion of it really, but as of now, we have Premiere Pro UXP in the beta version. So knowing that we're in beta UXP for Premiere, that most likely to me means After Effects has to be next. There's not any other applications that are missing UXP, and there's not any other applications that really pair as well as they do with Premiere. Typically, Premiere and After Effects work very close together and very similarly. Yes, they're very different programs. Even the nomenclature of, say, layers versus clips, compositions versus sequences can vary quite a bit. But the background engine of how these work, for example, when making C++ plugins, is very similar. When making effect plugins for either After Effects or Premiere, they use different color spaces, which is about the only difference. Other than that, creating the sort of uh, plugins that affect pixels and things like that are pretty much the same. And when it comes to CEP, uh, the scripting side of things, of course, is a bit different. Uh, but the, of course, visual portion is the same. That doesn't say a whole lot about whether or not they're going to come out right after each other, but I think because Premiere and After Effects are so closely related that Premiere is sort of the testing ground for what things to do and not do when preparing to release for After Effects. And one other note is I was part of the pre-release of UXP for Premiere, so I got to play around with it a little bit maybe two or three months ago. So I got to see it a little bit early and I wasn't allowed to reveal anything until the announcement that UXP is being released uh, was made. And now it's that time. So I can tell you a little bit more information about what I was told. And one of the main things that I was told, which I really hope happens, is that UXP for Premiere is going to be one-to-one -one with how scripting and extensions were before. This means that no matter what sort of QE or vanilla type of code you were using for your Premiere tools, it should eventually be ported one-to-one -one, where all of the functions match in both of the languages and it should be possible. If it's not and you notice something that needs to be fixed, of course submit that because we need to make sure the developers of UXP know that there are functions missing and that it's going to probably benefit everybody to have those integrated. So I was told that Within time, it'll obviously take a lot of time to port every single class property and function. Things will become one-to-one -one with how they once were, allowing you to fully port your old programs. I haven't dug in deep enough to see if everything is possible, but there's definitely a lot of missing features, namely the QE stuff. Now, obviously QE is touted as being inside of Adobe only and doesn't work on anybody else's computer but developers, which is totally false. Um, but it should be noted that those are important functions that do function for everybody and should be included in UXP. So if you're developing for UXP and starting to learn and you followed my previous tutorial or just learning on your own and you find anything that's not compatible or used to work but doesn't work anymore, make sure you submit a report or post on the forums letting people know because every little thing helps and every developer using their voice is going to help make sure everything goes smoothly. So 
what else was I told by the pre-release? It was pretty much just that they're going to try and make it one-to-one -one with the old scripting, and they're also going to use it as sort of a testing ground before After Effects. Because there are so many users, it's going to be important that everything is supported, and any kind of feedback will give them an idea of what to avoid missing or what to avoid implementing with when After Effects comes to it. But how long is it going to take to get UXP from where it's at now over to be completely compatible with all of the existing tools able to be able to be ported? Well, if we think about something like Photoshop, it's kind of hard to say. A lot of Photoshop's UXP relies on actions rather than actual scripting, which makes it a little bit difficult. Um, I'm hoping the scripting of UXP for Premiere becomes much more heavy in terms of the actual code support, not having to run actions and things like that because it's just not, not always compatible with different versions. But we can assume that it's going to take at least a couple of months, if not a year or two, to fully get everything transferred over. They probably have a massive to-do list of things that need to be transferred and converted to UXP. And then additionally, they're going to have all of the developer and user feedback of things that are missing and issues. So let's say the earliest time that they're going to finish Premiere UXP compatibility is the end of 2025. That gives them approximately one year of testing, coding, feedback, and repeating to get everything where it should be. Now, I'm not making any promises here. I honestly don't know anything more than I'm speculating here. And in the past, UXP has been promised and it's fallen short. It was promised to come out in 2020 and it did, but it had almost no compatibility. Of course, there was a certain event in the world called the pandemic that affected things, but there have been lots of promises and then those promises are almost never met when it comes to the UXP releases. This could also be because of Adobe's focus on things like Firefly, AI, and other things. It might be part of just the corporate structure of Adobe that makes it harder to get things going on time. But overall, let's say the earliest that things will get done is 2025. They'll be done porting all of the scripting and uh, UXP functionality for Premiere. If that is the earliest they get it done, then they can begin the After Effects process. Now, to get the After Effects process just started so that they have just the basic, you know, panel that you can bring up, plus some basic functions, let's say that takes a couple of months just to get the bare minimum done. Given that, I feel slightly comfortable saying UXP for After Effects initially could be released between early and mid-2026. That could be super early, that could be super late. Maybe the Premiere developers will get everything done by this summer of this year and then start working on After Effects and have it ready sometime this year. I don't know. But here I'm just using my intuition, my experience with Adobe, and the experience of them delaying and delaying and delaying and getting most of their sort of timelines incorrect. You as a user or developer of Adobe or After Effects might know that sometimes other things take precedent over bugs or missing features or GPU compatibility or switching over to AI rather than the actual errors the users are experiencing. So we never know what direction UXP might be taking. It might have a certain period where everything is working towards their goals really well. And then maybe that gets interrupted by something or maybe there's just so much work to be done because uh, After Effects and Premiere are both using very, very, very old code bases that aren't being um, updated to modern standards. They're kind of just stacking more and more features on top of a code base from the 90s. And that makes things difficult. So we don't know what's going on in the background, but let's say sometime by the end of 2025 or early to mid 2026, we can expect to start coding UXP plugins for After Effects. You know, in my notes for this, I have a slight script I'm following here. I originally said, if we're lucky, the earliest will be sometime in 2025, which is now maybe late 2025. What do you guys think? Based on your experience of Adobe and how things are run, their release promises versus actual release dates, 
and just how UXP has been going in general. When do you think that UXP for After Effects will be released? Leave a comment down below. We have a good discussion on it. Maybe someone in here actually knows when it's going to be released and they'll reveal to the world for us. Um, again, my estimation is sometime mid to late 2025 at the, at the optimistic end. And the more realistic end, I'm going to say 2026 is when we're going to see pre-release and or beta testing in After Effects beta for UXP. But that's going to do it for this video on speculating when UXP is going to come to After Effects. We really don't know. It's all speculation at this point, um, but it is important to be sort of involved in guessing. That way you as a developer are going to be ready for whenever it's released. You're going to have time to prepare to update any of your existing tools that might need an upgrade. You'll be ready to program new tools and you'll just be ahead of the curve and ready to go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.